All right, here we are, tip off here at White Pines Collegiate. First of two games, this time it's the juniors, it's the Superior Heights Steelhawks against the White Pines Wolverines. This is our first opportunity to see White Pines. And we're very, uh, very excited to have this opportunity to watch these girls play. They're starting off in a zone and they get an early steal. And just off the mark, another shot off the mark. And now we're gonna get a jump ball situation here. So a nice start here by White Pines on defense, getting the early steal. Unfortunately, they couldn't finish in transition, but number 13, uh, Journey Day with a nice steal to start the game. Both of these teams uh, don't have a lot in the win column. However, they are improving every single game, so it's really nice to see that development over this uh, entire season. And here's Journey Day again. She looks to get it inside. It's out of bounds. She's looking for teammate Addison Hopkins. I know I've seen Addison on the score sheet all season. Back comes Georgia Graubarger. She gets it to Duke to Duke. Nadia with the shot, it's just off the mark. Back out to Scarlett, Scarlett now, she drives. Nice aggressive drive by Scarlett, but it gets taken away there by Kaisley. And back come the, the Wolverines. Shot there by Hopkins in and out. Rebounded nicely there by Scarlett Duke. Ball tipped over. To Nadia, back to Scarlett, looks inside to Cecilia Mead, and that ball's taken away by Journey Day. That's her second steal of the ball game. Now she looks to pass it over to Yolana Sarazin, and now Day with the shot, just long. Rebound there, nicely by line, it's out to Cecilia Mead. She looks to go coast to coast, and she finishes. Back comes Hopkins, over to Casey Murray. Murray now, and her shot is good. Nice finish there by Casey Murray. Casey is a recent uh, joiner of the Elite Eight Varsity Girls Finishing and Shooting School. Very nice to have her out, she's a very nice uh, player. She has great technique and she's gonna be uh, a force to be reckoned with in her career if she continues to work hard on her game. And Mead goes up strong and she's fouled and she'll go to the line for two. Yeah. Cecilia's first shot is good. Cecilia gets stronger every single game. She's got a ton of confidence. She's a vocal leader on her team. It's really nice to see her progression as the year is moving on. Now Hopkins now, she drives baseline. Looks for a teammate. She's getting trapped in the corner by line. Gets it out to Kaisley Murray. Murray now. She gets it to Journey Day. Back to Hopkins. Hopkins. Looks to get out of the corner, she does. Journey, block, shot is blocked there by Scarlett Duke. Nice defense there by Duke, and now Mead with the rebound. Georgia Graubarger is bringing up the floor. She's being guarded tightly there by Day. Now Nadia Duke, her shot is long. Hopkins now. And she is fouled hard there by Scarlett Duke. And Hopkins will now go to the line for a couple. Ryan, you had mentioned that she, some of the players were 
attending the Elite Eight Academy. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, absolutely. So the Elite Eight Basketball Academy is a training. Sorry, just want to get back in the action here. Nice shot there by number four. Rebounded nicely back out to Journey Day. Day now to Hopkins. Hopkins curls the top. She looks to score. Left hand is just short. Rebounded there by Meade. Loose ball taken back by Journey Day. That's steal number three for Day already. Back out to Murray. Murray now. She backs in line. She looks for a teammate. But she finds Scarlett Duke instead. And now Duke gets it to her sister. And now she's in transition. Shot is up. It's long. You can tell the girls are a little excited here with how long the shots are. A little bit jacked up here early on. Crowd is definitely the loudest uh, that we've seen uh, so far, Jay. And now it's going to be a foul here. I heard some of the White Pelonians players talking while setting up, saying they were nervous because they're going to be on camera. Yeah, <laughs> that's great. Georgia grab Barger. Oh, she just turns the ball over. Steal number four for Journey, and she is fouled by Scarlett Duke. Now we have minute. Can you talk about the elite? Yeah, eight? absolutely. Uh, so Elite Eight uh, offers training and programming for kids uh, grades one all the way to senior varsity and beyond. And uh, you know we we started with a uh, a summer sports development uh, camp that had over 110 uh, athletes participate in, and. Uh, then we moved on to a varsity uh, girls shooting and uh, finishing school where we have 18 to 20 kids a night uh, out for that, uh, which is a great opportunity for the girls to get extra shots and extra finishing, really teaching them how to uh, be confident and finish at the rim. Uh, and then we're going to be doing the same thing with the boys here very shortly, probably going to be uh, putting a press release in regards to uh, that. That will run through the season for them. Uh, and then right now, we currently have the Junior NBA program going on right now, which is uh, designed by Canada Basketball. And it's just an unbelievable program for our elementary school kids, uh, grades 1 to 8. And uh, we have 100 kids uh, involved in that. So uh, just off to a great start. We've got a ton of great coaches with a ton of enthusiasm and knowledge. Uh, and so far, uh, so good. So uh, you know, really looking to fill any gaps that are out there in Sioux Marie as far as basketball goes. And uh, if there's a gap out there, we want to fill it and... and uh, and if we can't do something extremely well, we're not going to do it at all. So uh, just really excited to sponsor boys and girls basketball. <laughs> Shot there by Nadia Duke. She's made the necessary adjustments on her shot. She did not long that time. And now Georgina with a steal. And she gets it to Priya Rasaya. Goes off her foot. And now Journey now. She gets it to Hopkins. Hopkins looks to drive the rail and she does looks to get some space underneath now she finds a teammate she finds Addison Seabrook Seabrook to Saarinen but it gets taken and knocked out of bounds it's gonna be blue ball nice effort there by Hopkins however it did go off her and out of bounds just wanted to finish off Jay by saying that we're uh, the Elite Eight Basketball Academy is extremely proud to be sponsoring uh, boys and girls uh, high school basketball this year and uh, you know, it, it was a joy to be here, uh, you know, in the booth, uh, calling these games and watching these girls, uh, you know, grow as the season goes on. And uh, unfortunately, I won't be doing uh, any of the boys' games as I'll be uh, coaching the senior varsity team at Spare I don't mean to interrupt you, but Coach John Duke has your T-shirt on over there. He, oh, there we go. Excellent. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Representing. Well, John has done an amazing job uh, with Elite Eight as well, and. Uh, he is there for most of the programming. His girls, Scarlett and Nadia, are doing a great job, and their improvement and confidence has improved every single week. Uh, and they're only in grade nine, so I mean, you know, if they keep working on their game like they're working on their game, by the time they get to their fifth year, you know, if they have a uh, university in sight, I'm, I'm sure that uh, they'll be ready for that at that time. And I know there are certainly some girls we have currently in our senior loop that are looking uh, for university and beyond. And you know, the goal is to really send more more girls uh, to university to play ball and. Uh, you know, you you got to really start looking at that. Probably grade grade six, seven, eight. Start identifying talent. Uh, you know, the earlier the better. And if that's something they they enjoy doing, uh, you know, they can certainly put the extra work in at that time. Um, and then, uh, yeah, it's uh, 
We're also getting we're also getting some girls ready for their CP training, Center of Performance training that's happening at uh, University of Nipissing and the old uh, Ryerson University. Uh, so, uh, yeah, lots of fun and exciting things happening for sure in basketball at Saint Marine. Real meal now. She gets it over to Jaden Martin. Jaden Martin's shot is blocked. Nice defense by Priya forces the turnover, but uh, looks like they're gonna. Oh wow! They called it. Uh, they called it off of uh, Priya, but I don't think she touched it. I think she just had good defense there and. Hopkins bounced it out of bounds, but. Refereeing basketball has to be the toughest uh, sport to referee f for a lot of reasons. and I wouldn't want to ref any sport. No, <laughs> I, I mean, if there was one I'd like to do, it'd probably be football. It's a little bit slower pace, but basketball is so fast paced, you can't see everything. You can't always be in the right position. And here comes Priya Rasaya down the lane as she finishes. That's her strength right there, using her speed and her ability to finish at the rim. And now Hopkins comes back. She blows by Mead. Mead recovers. Romeo now. She gets. What's the call? Call on number 12, Hopkins. She gets called for the foul. It'll be. Superior Heights basketball here. With two minutes and nine seconds left to go in the first quarter at Superior Heights up 8-4 here at White Pines Collegiate. Rumio now. She has it up top, she drives the gap. Right idea. And Journey gets it to Hopkins. Hopkins gets it out to Seabrook. Seabrook drives, looking for a teammate, but she finds Mead instead, gets the ball back though. A lot of great effort by Seabrook, but it's rebounded there by Rumiel, and she's looking for a teammate in the in transition. Priya now. Shot there by Mead is good. Uh, and it's a six point lead. Superior Heights doing a nice job with ball movement, getting the ball from side to side. Find an open shot against that zone defense and she makes no mistake. Nice pass there and finish. Caitlin Shaganash with her first two points of the ball game. Priya now, her shot is good. This is definitely the best start I've seen out of Priya as well. Hopkins gets it to Kaylee Murray. Kaisley back to Hopkins. Time out here. So it's notoriously been a slow start for Superior Heights uh, over the last few weeks. Uh, nice to see them start off here with 12 points in the first quarter. And uh, shot making has been the difference so far. Superior Heights definitely making, uh, you know, the, taking advantage of their open shots against this 2-3 uh, zone. And, um, and White Pines getting some chances on the other end. They're just not able to finish. and. If you don't finish against this long uh, Superior Heights team, it's gonna be a long day. They do get a lot of rebounds. They do use their height. Um, so uh, they definitely have to uh, you know, make the most of their, their opportunities or, or they're gonna be one and done a little bit too often. The journey day for White Pines has had a few steals just. Yeah, she's playing great. I mean, 
it is, uh, it's great to see these White Pines girls. They certainly deserve uh, an opportunity to, to be on the live stream. I know their family and friends from beyond want to see them play as well. And it's just the way the schedule has worked out so far. And um, But, I mean, to see the you know girls like Journey and, 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 and Hopkins and Kaisley, you know, there's a lot of nice uh, girls on this uh, White Pines team. And they're all so young. So it's going to be uh, nice to see how things go for them uh, moving forward. Nice shot there by Jaden Martin. Rebounded by Rumio. Rumio's shot is up. Rebounded again by Atlanta Johnson. And Johnson's into the game for the first time. Swings it over to, to Martin. Martin's shot is long. Mead's shot is short. Rebounded by Kaisley. And after the first quarter here at White Pines, it's the Seahawks 12 and White Pines 6. Are you watching NFL football or high school football or basketball? When? You just said C Seahawks. Did I say Seahawks? Seahawks, yeah. <laughs> Got football in your mind, eh, right? Trust me. Trust me. The last team I would give any props to as a 49ers fan <laughs> would be the Seahawks. <laughs> but uh, I think maybe, maybe, maybe I just, uh, maybe I just slurred my words. <laughs> that is also possible. Just missed the T there. Yeah, I think yeah. so. But like you were talking about the, the roster for White Pines is talking about their football team, how it's how this junior team's come along the last few years. Here at the junior team here, you have eight grade nines and only five grade tens, so it's a real young squad. No, it is, and uh, you know, now that you mentioned that, you know, huge props to uh, R.J. Bazawa and the job that he's doing at, here at White Pines with the junior football program, and it takes people like R.J. and, and people who are super dedicated to get the program going. I mean. Uh, not to take anything away from the coaches that have followed uh, Lynn Kahn, but you know, you talk about someone who was dedicated for a number of years, and uh, Lynn was a stable here for a long, long time, and and since then there really hasn't been that coach that uh, that I can remember, anyways, that has been here and, and put in the time. And it certainly looks like RJ has uh, the program running in the right direction, and uh, it it would be nice to see kids instead of finding reasons not to come to White Pines. Uh, to find reasons to come here uh, and and, uh, and you know you're certainly seeing uh, some talent here in this young White Pines girls basketball team I know their junior team uh, boy team uh, last year was extremely competitive and I know uh, you know the junior football team this year uh, had some wins under their belt so it really is about the players I mean the coaches can talk uh, all day and, uh, and all night on how great they think they are but uh, without without the kids uh, you know you're not winning too many games so if we can get the kids more kids to you know to, to tend uh, uh, White Pines, and you know they'll be competitive as well. Romeo now, nice shot by Romeo. She goes off the glass for two. There we go. Another steal here by Rasaya. She's not going to finish, or sorry, she's not going to miss from there. And she finishes with ease, and the lead is now up to 10. Journey now. She blows by Rasaya. Her shot is up, and it's off. Rebounded there by Rumio. Rumio now, she's looking for somebody to hit ahead, and she does. She finds Atlanta Johnson. Atlanta now, she just shoots it from there, and it's off. Hopkins, she's defended there by King. And it goes out of bounds and it'll be Superior Heights basketball. And like you were talking about when it comes to players of White Pines, uh, the junior coach for uh, White Pines, Joey Brock, told me before the game is for the senior boys, he's got 19 kids out right now. Oh, that's great. So uh, White Pines, that's a great number. No, oh, good for him. No, I, and you know, like I mean, White Pine certainly hasn't been, you know, hurting in the basketball scene. Uh, certainly at the boys' level, I know, uh, having faced uh, White Pines for a couple of years just recently, uh, they had a ton of studs, and one of those studs was Brett Pierce, who just went on to play at uh, oh, so the Humber at Humber, and uh, just won a just won a championship, national so, championship, yeah, wasn't a, na it? a national championship with Humber. So. Um, 
you know, really nice to see. And that was such a talented White Pines team. Uh, absolutely gave me nightmares to to uh, to prepare for them. And uh, we, we were lucky to beat them two out of three in the regular season, but when they were on, they were unstoppable. And in the playoffs, they were just unstoppable. And uh, my goodness, uh, they had a ton of talent. Priya now. She gets fouled and she'll go to the line for two. Second one falls. And it's an 11 point game here for Superior Heights. Hopkins now. She looks to drive left, she looks to back in her opponent. Gets it back out there now. Shaganash, Shaganash. She finds Ross, Ross now. Throws it out of bounds, it's gonna go to Superior Heights basketball. Stolen here by Shaganash. Shaganash now gets to Hopkins. She drives to the basket again. She'll go up strong. It'll go over the backboard and out of play. What's that word though? Romeo for three. That's off the mark. Rebounded nicely. Again, Atlanta, Atlanta Johnson gets rebounded, but now it's taken away there by number nine, Ryan O'Reilly. And here comes Hopkins. And down the right sidelines again she goes. Jump ball, and it'll stay White Pines basketball. Baseline out of bounds, play for White Pines. Knocked out of bounds again by Superior Heights. It'll be one more opportunity for them. Ryan O'Reilly will be getting it inbounds. White Pines is boxing it up here. They hit Kaisley Murray on the uh, quick pass, and now she's looking at the, the, there she goes. Nice spin move from Kaisley. Her shot's off the mark, and here comes Priya Rasaya. Here it comes. Oh, nice steal there. Journey Day goes up for it. It's blocked by Priya. Beautiful job by Priya on the block. And now she'll come the other way. And she's got Rumiel to her right, King to her left. Thought about it. Looks to get it inside. And the ball is taken away. And here comes Journey Day again. And she looks to get to the basket. She passes it across, but it's stolen there by number 13 for Superior Heights, Leah Yule. John Stone now in the corner. She drives, looks to get it up, shot is off, but there's the rebound for, for Yule, but it's just off the mark, stolen back. Can't really see there through the referee, but Looks like a jump ball. Substitutions here for Superior Heights. Into the game for the first time is number three, Angel Unitech. She'll join uh, Nadia Duke. 
Jade Line. Cecilia Mead. And Lily Romeo. Well, we talked about it earlier, Jay. And, uh, you know, the, the benefit of having Sioux Sports live stream these games is so family members out of town can watch their relatives play. And joining us all the way from Kenora, Ontario is Francine Murray. And Francine is watching Kaisley Murray, the grade nine star from White Pines Wolverines. And so a big shout out to Francine. I hope you're enjoying the, uh, the action here at White Pines, Francine. And a uh, quick, uh, quick little note here. I used to live in Dryden, Ontario when I was nine and 10. <laughs> and Dryden's only, I think, an hour uh, or so away from Kenora. And when I was living there, I played soccer uh, with a famous hockey player. And uh, he and I scored the only goals in a 2 nothing <laughs> game, the championship game, and that player was Chris Pronger, uh, uh, Dryden, Ontario legend. And uh, I still have, well, I don't have it, but my mom has the uh, newspaper clipping of the, two <laughs> of the picture of us in that game. And uh, that was kind of a cool thing to play with uh, the likes of Chris in Dryden. Oh, is that your only claim to fame? I don't have too many. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have too many. Uh, that's just one of them. Ross, she find, tries to find, it's stolen there by Unitic. Back out to Romeo, she swings over to Scarlet Duke. Scarlet now, she finds Unitic at the nail. She looks to get her over to, nice ball movement here by Superior Heights. Ah, Scarlet gets caught driving into a single gap and it's stolen. Nice spin move, nice basket. Great job by Journey Day. And a little smile on her face as she jogs back on the defense. Back into the 2-3 zone. Nice ball movement. Great job flashing there by Meade. Ball is tipped. Nice job by Journey on defense. Kaisley Murray now. She likes to swing it over to Ross. Ross, her shot is up, and it's good! <laughs> uh, it's great to see the excitement in these girls. Play Pines is making the game of it. Yeah, it's great. Scarlet now looks to get it to me, and it's stolen. And now, here comes Journey Day now. Journey Day, her ball is down. And here comes Riley, Lily Rumio, and her left hand is just short. And back comes Journey Day, Scarlet back to play defense. And she gets the rebound. Man, I give Lily credit there, going with the left hand instead of just going with her right. And it just was a little bit short. Got to get the ball high off the glass there. Doing, doing a nice job, being patient. Open shot, rebound. And it's secured there by number seven, Melina Jones-Reed. And back comes Journey Day. Bounce pass to Ross. Ross, her shot is off the mark. Knocked out of bounds. By White Pines, and it'll be Superior Heights basketball with a minute 18 left to go in the first half. The score is 17-12 for the Steel Hawks. Priya now. Looks to get it inside the line. Line, her shot is up. It is off the mark. 
And now back come the Wolverines. Hopkins now, she tries to secure it. Ball goes out of bounds. It's gonna go to White Pines. 59 seconds left to go, down by five. If they can keep it 17-12, would be nice to go into half at that score. Yeah, I mean, regardless, yeah, I mean, you'd like to keep it at this score, but even if they go down a couple more baskets, uh, you know, definitely a good half uh, by them, and um, they're certainly making a great game of it. And, uh, and, you know, and Superior Heights is doing a nice job against their 2-3 zone. I know I've talked about it on other uh, live streams, but the way to, to beat a 2-3 a, a zone is, you know, intelligent use of the dribble, you know, you want to drive. Uh, into two, so you want to draw two and C4, and um, you want to, uh, you know, good good ball movement, good passing, fake one way, pass the other. You want to play below the zone if you're the big. You want to flash the zone. So I saw Cecilia Mead a couple times flashing the zone into the gaps, which is also very effective. I haven't seen uh, them screen the zone, but you can certainly screen a two three zone as well from the top and the bottom. Uh, so so definitely lots of ways uh, uh, to beat a two three zone. Uh, and in, um, every game you're seeing uh, the girls getting better and better at it. And yeah, and they have to work on it, right? I mean, you look at St. Mary's. St. Mary's runs their 2-3 zone. White Pines is running a 2-3 zone. So, I mean, you got to be spending a lot of time on, on that. And it looks like Superior Heights has done so. And they're certainly looking better every game. They just got to clean up a couple of their passes. You know, uh... I'd be working on that every every day as well. And if they can sure up some of those turnovers, they'll certainly be in a lot more games. Journey now. Journey gets it to number seven. Melina Jones Reed. Jones Reed gets the ball taken away and back comes Georgia Grabarger. Grabarger to Priya. Priya's shot is up. Nice shot, just long. Georgia. She throws it up. Meade now. Her ball shot is blocked by Kaisley Murray and back. The other way it comes Hopkins and she does what she does and drives down the right side. Comes in. She looks to teammate Casey Murray, gets it back out to Hopkins. Just gotta cut her off. There we go. Nice job there by Hopkins going strong to the hoop. And she's just not gonna, she's not gonna be denied. But maybe a little bit too aggressive this time because I, I didn't realize this, but the foul was called on uh, Hopkins for being a little bit too aggressive. I guess she used an arm bar there and they called it going the other way. Coach Brock doesn't like it too much. Nice shot there by Georgia. That's just off the mark. Rebounded by Addison Seabrook. And here she comes again, down the right sideline. Oh, he's gonna call a foul here, he's gonna shoot two. Is he shooting two or three here? There's a foul called. So she will go to the line for two, is he two or three? Three. So she gets the three point opportunity here. And Addison Hopkins will shoot three. And if she makes all three, it's a two-point ball game going in at half. No, why three, not two, Ryan? Well, she was behind the three-point line, I guess. I didn't, it didn't look like she was, but I guess they're saying she was behind the three-point line. So she was fouled while shooting a three. She's going to shoot all three of them. So uh, with one second left to go, with an opportunity to get her team within, within two points. Certainly would like to see uh, her make these. Hey, shooting for him. Wow. I'm telling you, man, hey, she's got her hands, she's got the middle of the hand in the middle of the ball. She's got her support hand in the right spot. The shot looked great, just a little short. She'll make the adjustment, guaranteed. She's making this one. Oh, in and out. 
<laughs> that was a good shot. That was a good looking shot. These rims here at White Pines aren't always so uh, always so friendly. One one rim seems a little tighter than the other one. But those are three good looking shots there by uh, by Addison. Yeah, uh, Coach Duke was asking why she thought she shot three. It didn't look like a three-point uh, opportunity there, but regardless, at the end of the first half, we got a five-point game here at White Pines with the score 17 to 12. We're getting some uh, some love here by the White Pines fans, and uh, we'll be back here in about 12 minutes' time for second half action. You don't want to miss it. See you soon. Hello.
All right, everybody, welcome back to White Pines Collegiate. A very loud and boisterous gym. It's the first of two matchups here at White Pines, featuring the Superior Heights Steelhawks and the White Pines Wolverines. My name is Ryan Lillington. I'm here with Jay Houslander in studio and the cameraman for tonight's live stream. The one and only, the legendary Chris Carr. Very happy to have Chris on the camera tonight. And if he uh, makes any mistakes, you can just find him uh, all across the city, <laughs> volunteering his life uh, at every uh, event, at every uh, school. So uh, you can find him and uh, give him heck. <laughs> Big smile on Chris's face as we get the second half started here. It's Seabrook. She drives the middle. And her shot is just off. Shot is up. Just off. It's Nadia Duke now with the rebound. She just turns it away. Her her father uh, lets her lets her have it. It's not always fun when de mom or dad help coach, right? <laughs> uh, you know, John does a great job, but he's just trying to explain it to her. And uh, it's not like uh, Nadia is new to dad coaching here. He <laughs> he coached her uh, with the Slam program uh, uh, over the last few years, uh, coaching uh, a, a girls' club team and. So she's definitely used to dad being in her ear and uh, I'm sure uh, they have a few conversations at home about basketball too, but the girls do a, do a great job of, of listening. They are, they are eyes wide open type athletes where they're looking to learn and so I'm sure uh, she's tough enough to take a little bit of that uh, coaching from dad for sure. Nadia Duke now tries to find her sister just off the mark. Knocked out of bounds there nicely by number 13. Journey Day having herself a great game on defense. Also a nice spin move to create a basket for herself there in the first half. And we've got a five point ball game and there's another turnover. Spear Heights got a Miscommunication? No, I just, uh, yeah. That and just uh, trying to force it. There's no need. There's lots of time on the shot clock. If you can't make that pass across the gym, just take a couple of dribbles, move it over. And, and White Pines is playing a 2-3 defense, so it's not like they're getting a lot of pressure. Uh, so those, those turnovers are unforced, and you got to clean that up. And now Jenny Day now. She gets it out to Hopkins. Hopkins. Addison, she gets it over. And knocked out of bounds. It's going to be White Pines baseline out of bounds play here. See what they have in store. Looks like they're just looking to get open. And she does. And Hopkins just long. Rebounded nicely. Journey Day now. Oh. And she goes up. And she gets fouled. And she will go to the line for two. Nice job there by Journey getting the rebound. I would have liked to see her just take that initial shot. She didn't have to take that dribble. All that did was make the shot a little bit tougher for herself, but she did go up strong and she did get fouled and now she'll go to the line for two into the game now for Superior Heights. Priya Rasai, she'll come in for Scarlet Duke. So Superior Heights definitely going at 11, 12 players deep here today, which is great for them. It's usually the case every game. White Pines with the steal. She'll get fouled there by Jade Line. I'm really loving the, uh, the pink here being worn by Addison Seabrook, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and I'm sure that's the reason uh, 
Miss Seabrook is wearing pink today, so great job by her to create that awareness. She's a spark plug out there, Jay. She's always around the ball and fearless. Not a lot of height, but she doesn't back down. No, she's fearless. Love it. She might even be wearing eye black. I'm liking her more and more <laughs> every time. <laughs> when you see a, a girl wearing eye black in a basketball game, I'm loving that. And now Priya now, she's looking patient. There's no pressure. Gets it out to Georgia. Georgia now to line, line shot. Partially blocked by Kaisley Murray. And the ball now goes to White Pines. Nice job there by Cecilia. She gets her hands on the uh, Addison Hopkins pass, but it unfortunately goes out of bounds. It'll remain White Pines basketball. Just a minute here into the uh, third quarter. Still 17-12 for Superior Heights. And nice defense there by Superior Heights causing a White Pines turnover. And here comes Priya Rasaya. Priya now to Nadia Duke. Nadia's shot is up. It's long. And it goes out of bounds. White Pines will have it. I love to see the confidence. I love to see them shooting. When you're open, you shoot it. And uh, as the years go on, the girls will get better at three-point shots. Already seeing a big improvement from these girls over the summer and into the fall. And now Kaysley Murray now, she looks to get it inside. She gets it to Journey Day and somebody is fouled. Foul is on Seabrook. She's a little too aggressive that time. She's not too sure where the foul was called. Oh, like you said, she's a spark plug. Oh man, she's... Tough cookie for sure. Priya now, she gets it and just throws it out of bounds. Little miscommunication there. But you want to see, uh, you want to see her, you know, penetrate before making that pass. You don't, you want to make the defense have to move. So you want to attack the top of the two-three zone, make those two top defenders collapse. Then you can hit uh, somebody out on the wing. It gives them an opportunity to either attack the gap or take the shot. When you just pass it from the top of the top of the key, you're not making the defense really rotate at all. So you want to do something with the ball before moving it. And certainly attacking that middle gap at the, the nail spot, which is right in between the foul line, is a great way to get the defense moving. And, and then good passing. So let's see if they make that adjustment moving forward. And now Journey now, her shot is blocked. Seabrook with the rebound. She gets it out. Unfortunately, it gets out of bounds. Seabrook's inside with the, in the land of the trees and she comes up with the rebound. Just a great job by Seabrook. And now Jada, Jada Martin, she gets the ball stolen away. Steal number six for Journey Day and then the spin move again. That's her move. She loves that spin move and it's just off the mark this time and back come the Steelhawks. Priya now and she'll drive, she'll kick. And her shot is just short. Jada now with the rebound. Stolen again by Journey Day. Steal number seven. But unfortunately she just throws it out of bounds and it'll be Steelhawks basketball and there's a lid on these baskets because it's still 17-12 here with two and a half minutes gone, three and a half minutes gone here in the uh, third quarter. Nice pass there by Ruma. Now we get some ball movement here by Superior Heights. 
Jada Martin. She gets the Priya Priya. Nice flash there by me. There we go. Atlanta Johnson with the open shot. Nice shot there by Johnson. It's just a little long and rebounded nicely there by Shaganash. The turnover. Aggressive, active hands there by the Wolverines. Almost get another steal. Swung over to the corner to Johnson, and she gets fouled this time. And she'll go to the line. Much better job by the Steelhawks that time, Jay. Moving the ball around, quick passes, making that defense move. And twice, Atlanta Johnson's had a nice opportunity there from the corner. And this time, she gets fouled. And she'll get two shots at it from the stripe. I think maybe Jada Martin and... Uh, Lily Rumio did each other's hair uh, before today's <laughs> game. They got the uh, double braid going on. Are you jealous, Ryan? Am I jealous that I, because I don't have hair? Yes. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> My hair days were a long, long time ago. I know the I'm over. I'm over it now. There we go. Nice job there by Landon to make the second one. I will tell you this, though. In grade 10, I had fantastic hair. <laughs> fantastic. And actually, it got even better in grade 12 because we, we all had the mullet. And that was, uh, that was a, a fun time. Now, Addison, she gets it to Journey. Journey now. She swings it back to Addison. Hopkins, shot is up. And it's good. Addison gets the shooter's roll. And it's a four-point ball game. Romeo. She gets it to Priya. Priya now. She drives. She swings it back to Rumio. Rumio. There we go. Attacks the gap. She draws two. Passes it over to Atlanta. Atlanta now looks to go down low to Mead. Her pass is just off the mark. And back comes Shaganash. Ball is knocked away nicely there by Jada Martin, I believe. And Nadia is back in the game. She'll take out Cecilia Mead. White Pines will have a ball play coming up, otherwise known as a baseline out of bounds play. And they'll box it up and get it down low and that shot is rebounded by Priya. She's scorching down the sidelines. She'll get it to Martin, that shot looked good. Just off the mark and now Johnston's fighting for it. And now Journey Day comes out with it. She gets it to Addison and Hopkins comes down the floor. Nice pressure there by Priya. Nice block shot there in the corner by Lily Rumio. Not known for her shot blocking prowess, but a great job there by Lily. Blocking that White Pines opportunity. White Pines will now have it. They'll box it back up again. I'm sure they'll look to get it to Kaisley. Kaisley's doing up her shoe here. Referee's gonna let her tie up her shoe. Kaisley's likely to pop out here. They're gonna look for her on the out of bounds play, I'm sure. There she is. And she kicks it back out to Journey. Journey, bounce pass back. Little curl, and a finish by Kaisley Murray. Nice job by the Wolverines. Nice high-low action, and she finishes at the rim for two. Back to the 2-3 zone. Steelhawks now, Jada Martin, Jada, she loses the handle. Ball back to Casey, Casey loses it. Jada gets it, and now Lily comes back. She looks ahead, she gets it to Priya, and Priya goes hard to the basket, and she finishes. Great job by Lily Rumio on the hit ahead to Rasaya. She makes no mistake in the four point ball game. Still in there by Rasaya, and she's not gonna miss from there. And it's a six point lead. A minute 45 left to go in the third quarter. Look at this, another loose ball, another steal and deflection by Rasaya, and she's gonna go hard and foul. Those fouls are worth taking sometimes, aren't they? That is definitely a good foul. 
Yeah, when you don't, when you're not in any foul trouble, and you've got a, a player like uh, uh, Rosaya going to the rim, you know you want to make your earn it from the stripe. So you know a very heads up, smart play there by Kaisley Murray to to get the foul and make her earn those two. Because I'm pretty sure those two were going to fall for uh, Rosaya. She's not fouled, and we'll see if she makes them both here. She makes the first one. Nice shot there by Priya. Man, I'm telling you, I mean, this is by far her best game that I've seen her play. She's playing under control. She's not just uh, being careless with the basketball. She's finishing on, uh, on the fast break. She's playing great swarming defense. Uh, certainly making a case for sure for the player of the game honor for uh, the junior team here at First Superior Heights. Journey Day now makes her first of two attempts. Now back to eight points. Good looking shot there by Days, just off the mark and back come. Nice job. Rasaya now, she looks for a teammate, finds one in Rumi, a Rumi, a pump fake shot. A little bit uh, wild on that shot by Lily. Long pass to Seabrook. Seabrook, she nice bounce pass. Oh, just off the mark. It's Shaganash. And out of bounds, it'll go back to the Wolverines. Seabrook spins, fires. Rebounded by Romeo, and now she'll lead the Steelhawks down the floor. She gets it to Atlanta Johnson. Atlanta now. Her shot is just long. Saved there on the far side by Nadia Duke. Rasaya now, her three. It is long as well, and back come the Wolverines. Stolen by Nadia Duke. Rumio, 12 seconds left in the clock. Rumio now gets it to Rasaya. She gets it back to Rumio. Rumio's shot is up. And just off the mark, rebounded, and Journey Day. With all her effort, tried to get it out there, eh? <laughs> Journey, with all of her effort, got it to half court. <laughs> and that is the end of the third quarter with the Steelhawks up 8, 25 to 17. So we talked a little bit about the player of the game and Domino's of Sault Ste. Marie and Team Essentials have teamed up with SiouxSports.com to honor the high school's top player of the game when Sioux Sports TV streams their regular and postseason games. Each game, Sioux Sports TV announcers will select a player of the game from each team and they will be rewarded with a Domino's medium pizza and Team Essentials t-shirt honoring their great game. Fusports.com also wants to acknowledge the following sponsors. The Huron Superior Catholic District School Board, Algoma District School Board, KISS 100.5, Country 104.3, Freeze Frame Photos. You can find the great photos taken by Bob Davies at www.fusports.smugmug.com. GFL Memorial Gardens, Dominoes of Sault Ste. Marie, and Team Essentials.
Seabrook now. Referee lets that one slide. But it's stolen there by Romeo. Romeo. And now it's Journey Day back again. That's steal number eight for the Wolverine. She spins back, fires. That's her move. Back comes Seabrook. Oh, her shot is just strong, a little bit too strong and rebounded there. And now it's brought back by the Steelhawks and Lily Rumio. Rumio to Jada. Jada Martin. Jada. She gets fouled on the play. Jay, just one thing, a uh, little bit of strategy here in regards to, you know, when to drive and, and you know, when to move the ball. And um, You want to drive it when you have a double gap situation. So when you have uh, room on, on top where there's no player in between, say, the corner and the top and you have that big gap and you have some space. Um, and you want to pass it through single gaps. And sometimes young athletes, even, even my senior boys basketball team at times, catch themselves driving into a single gap. What happens there is the, the help defender who's on the player beside them. Nice shot there by Seabrook. And they got it back down to a six point ball game. But a lot of times when they drive the single gap, the help defender goes off their foot, goes off their leg. Uh, they end up turning it over. So you want them to be a little bit more patient and drive when you have the advantage. And, uh, sometimes, you know, when you drive those single gaps, bad things will happen. And nice job here, nice pass, a nice finish. Great job. A beautiful pass by Journey Day. She gets it to Ross. And we're back to four. Jada Martin responds with a long two. Nice job by Jada. They gave her three on that one. I think it was, I think the referee called for two. I would love it if it was a three, but. Shot up, rebounded there by Atlanta Johnstone. And now Romeo now, she gets it back down there. You don't see a lot of three point shots here at the junior level, so. I'm sure they'll figure that out where there was a two or a three. Seabrook now tries to get it. She does. She fires it, but blocked there by Romeo. That's her second block of the half. But that ball gets stolen by Seabrook. She's being guarded tightly there by Rasaya. She kicks it back to Journey Day. Her shot is blocked by Romeo again. And this time Ross gets fouled by Duke, and she'll go to the line for two. It was a two point. They fixed it. They did fix it, it's back to two. But I was I gonna say that score was way wrong, but yeah. yeah. Addison Seabrook could probably be in the running for player of the game also. Oh man, right? she's just playing, uh, she's playing so well. Uh, just puffing doing it. Puffing and a puffing. Yeah, and, and on both sides of the floor, she's doing great. And you know, there's not a lot of girls coming uh, in and out for, uh, oh, they got a lot of different girls in there now. Uh, so these girls are tired. And Ross with a nice game uh, herself. and. I know a couple times she looked shocked when she made her baskets, but I mean, I can tell she's, uh, she's a player and she's made a couple shots here, big shots uh, to answer some uh, runs here by Superior Heights. And now her foul shot is just a little off the mark. Yeah, I mean, I tell you, <laughs> Seabrook's a great nine player. So, they, I mean, that's why Pine's team is gonna be uh, a force to be reckoned with as well down the stretch. And, I mean, it, that's why you, you, know, you talk about it a lot. Uh, you know, making intelligent uh, drives to the basket and, and you know, realizing that when you have an advantage and, and, uh, and taking advantage of it, and Priya does that. You know, she had a positional advantage on her defender. She had a lane to the rim. Uh, Help defender came and fouled her, but she doesn't do that. She doesn't get to the line if she's not aggressive and she doesn't realize that she had that advantage. So. Yeah, certainly the best game I've seen uh, Priya Rasaya play. And That's now three for three from the line for Priya. And I talked about how Rumiel is not known for being a shot blocker, but my goodness, she's got three of them here in the 
in the second half, so she's doing a great job, and now Seabrook gets it to Hopkins. Hopkins now, she looks to drive. She goes right to the basket. Oh, her layup's just off the mark, and Rumio with the rebound. Rumio now. She's got Mead, Mead, that's a shot she's gonna make. And she does! Great shot there by Mead, and it's a nine point game with 4.40 to go in the game. Seabrook now, she's gonna take a shot. She gets it to a teammate, oh. Pass is stolen there by Jade Line. She gets it to Ramil, now Ramil goes the other way. She gets it back to Jade Line. Jade Line's up. Her shot's just off, but rebounded nicely. And she fouled. Jade will go to the line for two. Jay, I'm also really impressed with Superior Heights and their ability to move the ball up the floor quickly. You know, again, another, another way to beat uh, a team that plays a lot of zone is to beat them down the floor, don't let them get set up. And a couple times now uh, in this fourth quarter and, and probably a, a good 10 to, to 12 times during the game, Superior Heights did a nice job in transition, pushing the ball, not allowing White Pines to be set and getting some good looks at the basket. And now Jade Line makes an important free throw to get the lead to 10 points. Second one is short, rebounded by Kaisley Murray. And back come White Pines. Hopkins now, she drives. She's looking for a teammate, she can't find one. She finds Seabrook, Seabrook curls to the middle. And now she looks to pass, she does. Shaganash. Her shot is off the mark. Rebounded by Mead. And here comes Cecilia. Gets it to Priya. Priya now. She drives strong to the hoop. She's feeling it. But just a little strong, but she's gonna steal this here if she's not careful. Oh, uh, she walks. Nice try there by Addison Seabrook. Just going a little bit too fast and she couldn't slow it down and pick up the ball and take those two steps. And she travels with the basketball. Scarlet Duke will get it into Romeo here for Steelhawks. And with three minutes and 30 seconds left to go in the game, it's a 10 point lead here for Superior Heights. The clock is now starting to be the enemy of the Wolverines. They're gonna have to get some defensive stops here and they do. But now Priya with the active hand, she gets the steal. You know she's going hard to the basket. And just off the mark and rebounded nicely by Mead. I'm sorry, that was Jade Line with the rebound and her shot is blocked. And back come the Wolverines. Journey day. Journey, nice spin move. She can't get the ball up. But it'll remain White Pines basketball. And the 10 point, point spread is not, doesn't equal the uh, second half the way White Pines has played, have they? No, I mean, uh, Superior Heights went on a 6-0 run there uh, uh, early in the fourth quarter and it kind of broke this game a little bit open. And um, if it wasn't for that, this would be a, you know, a four point game. It's been a four or five point game most of the game. And uh, it is gonna be hard for White Pines to to outscore Superior Heights by more than 10 here with only three minutes left to go in the fourth quarter, but crazier things have happened. And that ball is turned over by White Pines. Priya now, nice pass to Mead. Mead now looks to back in Journey Day. She swings it over to Rumio. She swings it to Scarlet Duke. Back to Rumio, over to Priya. Nice patience here by Superior Heights. Shot is up, but it's blocked out of bounds by Kaisley Murray. It'll still be Superior Heights basketball. Baseline out of bounds play for the Steelhawks. They'll line it up at the elbow. Hello, girls. Scarlet Duke, she finds Priya, she gets it to Romeo, back to Scarlett. Into the corner to Cecilia. Nice pass there to Jay, but just off. Shot up by Romeo is just off left. And it'll be White Pines basketball. Oh. 
It was tipped on the far side by Wolverine, so it will be Superior Heights. Basketball will get it in. Gets it into Priya. Priya now. She's in the left slot. She dribbles to the right. She finds Mead. Mead, that's her spot. Made one there from there earlier. Made a couple from there earlier. Uh, but that one is just off. And with 2.20 left to go in the fourth quarter, it's 31-21 for the Steelhawks. Addison Hopkins now, she has it for the Wolverines. They desperately need a basket here. They can't have an empty trip. And here comes Journey Day. And that ball is stolen by Rumio. And here comes Priya Rasaya. She's not missing from there. And with two minutes left to go in the game, it's a 12 point lead by the Steelhawks. Kaisley Murray, her shot is up. She falls hard on the floor, but she gets up. And back comes Rumio. Rumio now, crossover. And she drives, she gets it to Rosaya. Rosaya now, gets it back to Rumio. She swings it to Scarlett Duke. She looks to get it down to Jade Lyon. Over to Mead. And just off the mark. Nice rebound there. Loose ball. And Addison can't control it. It'll be Superior Heights basketball. Scarlett Duke will take it out of bounds. Rasaya, her shot is good. That's gotta be 14 at least for Priya Rasaya. And on that note, we will announce the Team Essentials Domino's Pizza players of the game. And for Superior Heights, there's no doubt about it. Priya Rasaya has played just a fantastic game on both sides of the ball, playing smothering defense making the most of her opportunities on offense, and more importantly, not turning the ball over. So all around, fantastic game for Priya Rasaya. And on the other side, uh, certainly more than one candidate, but just the game she had on defense alone, followed that up with a couple of nice baskets. Um, journey day uh, for White Pines, just having a, a great game. She had seven steals uh, in this ball game. That's not something you see often in uh, junior girls basketball. And like I said, she made a, a couple of beautiful baskets as well. So for the White Pines Wolverines, it's journey day for the Superior Heights still Hucks. It's Priya Rasaya. And with 42 seconds left to go in the game, Steel Hawks lead by 14. Pass now, nice pass. Oh, can't get it to finish. Priya now gets it. Atlanta Johnson has it. It'll be jump ball and it'll still be Superior Heights basketball. Into the game comes Pippa Holmes. Number 14, Peyton King. And number three, Angel Unitic. Pippa Holmes, nice pass. Unitic shot, partially blocked. And now Journey Day with 20 seconds left to go in the game, looking for one more positive thing to come out of this game. Journey with the spin move, she gets it to, ah, here we go. What a nice play by the Wolverines. It's Journey Day to Kaisley Murray. Superior Heights now, Pippa Holmes. Pippa gets the ball taken away. And that's the end of your ball game with the final score. The Superior Heights. Still Hawks 35 and the White Pines Wolverines 23.